Now the red cells carry the haemoglobin, and haemoglobin is a carrier molecule. It carries things around just the same as a truck carries things around. And of course what the red cells and the haemoglobin carry around is oxygen. Now this red card represents the lungs, and this blue card represents the tissues of the body. So in the lungs, oxygen goes from the alveoli into the red cells to be transported. This red cell will then drain by the pulmonary veins to the left side of the heart, which will pump the blood to the body and onto the body tissues. And once in the body tissues, the oxygen will be given up to the body tissues. At the same time, because the body tissues have been producing waste carbon dioxide, some of this waste carbon dioxide at least will be carried also by the red cells back via the inferior and superior vena cava, back to the right side of the heart to be pumped to the lungs again. And once it gets to the lungs, the carbon dioxide will be given up and breathed out, and more oxygen will absorb into the red cell to be carried via the heart to the body tissues again, delivering more oxygen, taking back more carbon dioxide. So this circulation of the red cell will carry on for the entire life of the red cell. And that works very well. Unless the person inhales carbon monoxide, which is represented by the green bricks. This is carbon monoxide. And carbon monoxide will be absorbed by the haemoglobin in the red cells in the same way that oxygen is. And again, it will go via the circulatory system to the tissues of the body. And when the carbon monoxide gets to the tissues of the body, it actually forms a stable compound with the haemoglobin, so it's not given up, it sticks. So the red blood cell has no choice, it carries on around in the circulation. Back to the lungs. And again, the carbon monoxide, because it forms a stable compound with the haemoglobin, is not given up and not bleed out again. This combination of haemoglobin and carbon monoxide is called carboxyhemoglobin. And carboxyhemoglobin is a stable molecule. It will keep circulating round, but because the carbon monoxide is adherent to the haemoglobin, it's not given up. And when this red cell is in the lungs, more oxygen will try to get in, but because the oxygen carrying sites in the haemoglobin are taken up by the carbon monoxide, the, car the oxygen can't get in because of the presence of the carbon monoxide. So the red cell, or at least the haemoglobin molecules in the red cell occupied by carbon monoxide, cannot carry any oxygen. This red, this red cell is now useless at least for, for a period of time. It can't carry the oxygen. And because it's carrying carbon monoxide and not oxygen, because it can't carry the oxygen, the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood is reduced. Now this can happen in an acute situation, for example, uh, if someone's trapped in a garage with a, with a motor car engine that's running, that can give off a lot of carbon monoxide. They can get acute carbon monoxide poisoning. Or patients who might have been in fires where there's a lot of carbon monoxide, again, can have acute life-threatening carbon monoxide poisoning. It can also occur in smokers because cigarette smoke gives off carbon monoxide and people that smoke cigarettes can have chronically high levels of carbon monoxide in the blood, chronic high levels of carboxyhemoglobin, which will reduce the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Because less oxygen is transported to the tissues, there will be less oxygen in the tissues causing hypoxia.